I'm Ron Koningsberg, President of American Investment Properties. In the November edition of our monthly video series, we're explaining one of the standard components used in commercial real estate leases. This component is known as the good guy clause. We'll discuss what this clause is, why it exists, and how it benefits both landlords and tenants alike. What is the good guy clause? The good guy clause, which evolved as a compromise between landlords and tenants, acts as a limited personal guarantee that an individual's personal liability ends when the commercial space is vacated. This clause is seen as a promise that the tenant will return the space to the landlord if the tenant's business goes bankrupt or fails, enabling the landlord to find a new tenant to pay rent. And therefore, the tenant will not suffer personal legal ramifications from the landlord. Why does the good guy clause exist? This clause was developed and instilled because landlords were having problems with companies going bankrupt defaulting on their lease payments and not surrendering the commercial spaces. And while a landlord can choose to evict a defaulting tenant, the legal eviction process can be very lengthy. And during that time, the landlord cannot rent the space or recoup any of its losses. The benefits. The good guy clause benefits both landlords and tenants alike. For landlords, the good guy clause serves as an additional form of lease securitization beyond the security deposit with the clause providing a mode of financial and legal protection it essentially acts as an insurance policy for landlords for tenants if a company defaults for any reason the tenant is responsible for the rent in between the default date and the property surrender date however the tenant will not be held responsible for the remainder of the lease as long as they adhere to the clause and vacate the commercial space. Thanks for watching our November video on the good guy clause. We hope you found the information interesting and useful. We look forward to sharing more expert commercial real estate advice with you in our final video of 2016. As always, if you have any questions about the Long Island commercial real estate market, please contact me, Ron Koningsberg at American Investment Properties. Thank you.